guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey i'm crystal with an i not a y and in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i got this fall thanksgiving holiday glam whatever you want to call it and i'm gonna be using the jacqueline hill palette the original one and this one's kind of been through a lot as you can see i use the shade the most um i went with these colors because when i think fall thanksgiving these are the colors that I gravitate towards too. Of course now for like Christmas and December I would use like blues or I would stay to like this over here, the reds and browns. But for Thanksgiving, this is normally the colors I would go with. So hope you guys liked the video. You guys already know, we just jump right into it. I tried to talk um, the minimal. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to turn off those lights because they're flickering a little weird. But I am taking my P. Louise Space Pro, I believe it's rumored to. Dab. We're going to ignore my eyebrows. I know they're a little... They're not even related at this point, honestly. And I'm going to take my Morphe M166, pat this out. As well as like, carve out the bottom of my brow. And I'm just going to take my beauty blunt or on a Morphe M441. I'm going to take the shade Creamsicle. Can you tell I use it a lot? All the way close to my brow bone, but not all the way. And then on a Morphe M441. Can I just do this? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take, well now I don't know the name because I closed it, Hunts, I'm going to apply it right on top of that yellow, but I'm not going to bring it, I'm going to put it right on top of the first shade, but I'm not going to bring it as high as the first shade, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go back in with creamsicle to make sure we kind of don't lose the first color. And then back in 
with hunts. That we're gonna take one more shade, which is going to be Jacks. And that we're gonna keep even closer, kind of where you would cut the crease. So you don't want to bring it too high at all. I'm using a Morphe M546. Kind of packing first. And then you can start kind of diffusing, blending. I'm going to take a Morphe M443, which is not as fluffy as the M441, and I'm going to go back into Hunts and kind of go over right here to get rid of any harsh edges. Then I'm going to do the same thing with another Morphe M443 with that <clears throat> creamsicle color. So that we still have like a nice almost gradient effect. I'm going to take my water and a Q-tip. And I'm just going to clean up where I would want to put the cut crease. I did go a little bit like in right here, if you can tell, because I wanted it to be more, I don't know what to call it. And then the first time you do it, it's obviously going to pick up a lot, so you're going to end up using the other side. I'm going to take a dry Q-tip get rid of all that oiliness. I'm going to go back into with my rumor too and for I do have this little thing I put it on. I think I got it off of Amazon. It was like four dollars. I'm using the Morphe M116 again. And we're just going to go right over where we just cleaned up. Take your beauty blender lightly. If you do it too hard, you're gonna, or like too quickly, I should say, you're gonna smear the crease that you just cut up into your other eyeshadow. And you don't wanna do that. Cause then you gotta start all over again. and That's just a lot of work. I'm going to duplicate what I did up here on the outer corner. Mm -hmm. 
On the Morphe M433, I'm going to take that first shade Creamsicle. Then again on the Morphe M443, I'm going to take the shade Hunts. I don't want to cover that first shade. I want to make also like the gradient effect. And then the last one on the Morphe M546, the color Jax. That just goes on the outer corner. You can kind of just play with it until it's perfect for you. And now you're ready to apply the shimmer. For my shimmers, because I don't like for them to move and be all over the place, I always get glitter adhesive. It doesn't have to be liquid. Um, at one point I was using the NYX glitter glue but I have no idea where it is so and you're just gonna go carefully right where you cut the crease and I'm taking this shade Just applying it all over the lid. Now, right on top of that, I'm going to take this one because that's what I did on this eye to make it a little bronzy, but still kind of pops. I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be back for the lower lash line. I'm back. I went ahead and did the rest of my face. I'm wearing um, Kylie Cosmetics Brown Sugar on my lips and for lashes I use the Lash Pop Lab Me Baby lashes and that's pretty much it. I did uh, line the waterline with a nude liner, L'Oreal, I believe. I am going to take this Morphe little flat brush and I'm going to go into Jack's. Keep it as close to the lash line as possible. Then on that same brush, I'm going to take Hunts, Hunts, I think it was, and we can bring that one a little lower without stabbing your eyeball like I just did. And of course, we're going to finish it off with Creamsicle. I did use um, the Fenty Beauty in Sandcastle for my inner corner, my brow bone, 
and a little bit here, but I don't like too much of it. Um, my lashes, I curled them with my eyelash curlers before I put them in my eyes so that they could be nice and, you know, not laying there flat. And that pretty much completes the look. Obviously, this isn't what I would wear because this is like my hair dye t-shirt. But I'm about to go downstairs and attempt to make hand pies. So I don't want to put my clothes on just yet. But I hope you guys like this video and hopefully we see you in the next one. Bye.